So how's Ben Moore doing as, uh, in the transition to your backup point guard and oh, picking I, up that extra role? No, I mean, he just can play anywhere. So we just got to have him ready, you know, with Emmanuel not coming. You know, we're kind of we're with Ryan and Nick. You know, you need some depth back there. So he's just somebody that can kind of plug in and play just about anywhere. Will you tailor significantly what you do on either end of the floor when he's in there? No, I'm not smart enough to do that, <laughs> to be honest. He, he just picks things up. He can, you know, we'll, we'll try to take advantage, you know, some situations for him. But, you know, the, the hardest part is figuring out how to utilize, you know, all the things that he can do. But, he, you know, he had a great summer at Sterling, and they both went to Europe, you know, which was good. So we'll try to figure it out. Uh, we haven't heard a lot about uh, Nick Russell uh, since he was at your coaching yeah. clinic. What is he up to? He's in um, Cyprus. He got 30s opening game on Sunday. Oh, wow. It's great he's playing there, yeah. yeah. Real good shot. We try to get it on on a computer, but it didn't work. We got the score. Okay. He's he's happy. And he's doing very well. You got uh, Yannick back after he spent the summer with the Angolan national team. Any significant changes you see in his game or, or improvement from that experience playing overseas? Well, he's healthy. You know, last year, second half of the year, he never was healthy, so. He's come back, you know, his attitude's been great. He's been working hard. I was a little concerned about maybe him being tired, but, uh, you know, we thought about getting him some time off, but, you know, he's jumped right in, wants to play. He looks uh, thicker. How much, has he put on a lot of size and strength? Uh, his mom, his mom probably fed, fed him. <laughs> so. Okay. You know how you feel like when you leave it? What if I leave you and you come over and you don't feel like you've had a trust in life? It's still Ari Lennon. You feel me? They're not going to be good to me. He's one of the transfers who's actually going to play this year. What do you like out of him? I mean, he's, you know, he's played for a great program, a great coach. You know, he's another guy. I'm trying to figure out, you know, how we can use him. But uh, he's a great leader. He can shoot the ball. He can guard. And play multiple spots. So you know when you consider we, we didn't sign anybody, you know any freshman, um, and we don't know you know Ben's status. Uh, you know we need every able body we have, and especially guys that can you know play multiple positions. So that'll help us. How valuable is his experience having been to the NCAA team? I don't, I don't know if that makes any difference. The fact that he played three years, you know, quality league, a quality program is significant. But, you know, he's been to two NCAA trainings. So he's obviously played big games. But, um, but when you lose Sean and Nick, you know, you lost two really good leaders. It's good having somebody like Justin. He obviously had the experience uh, at Xavier before transferring here, but in a way, he's yeah, I mean, brand new to you. How much different is the teaching process for you and your staff with Justin compared to when you're breaking in a freshman to teach them what they want, what you want from them? Uh, there's no difference because, uh, you know, I think the things he was asked to do maybe at Xavier might be a little different than us. So. You know, the thing with him is I just want him to be able to, you know, play multiple positions and, you know, every day you go to practice, no matter who it is, you try to make him better and work on things that you think will help him. Uh, and he just wants to be coached. You know, that's the fun part with him. Anything else, please?